It should be exciting. We're definitely going to have, actually, Tim and Jenna are going to be out there live, yes. so they'll be giving us updates for tomorrow. So yeah. it should be good. And tomorrow we'll have some nice weather for I was just going to say, how's the weather going to look for that out there? <laughs> we'll have a little, it'll be a little bit breezy in the morning hours, mm -hmm. so for the early part of the event, but we'll lose the wind by the afternoon, have plenty of sunshine, warm temperatures, just fantastic out there. We have been dealing with a little bit of rain today, though. Uh, we've gotten a whopping two hundredths of an inch of rain in Sioux City so far, and you think that's about all we'll get. The rain was very stop and go today, very showery, and a lot of it also didn't reach the ground because we had... Uh, uh, some dry air in the lower and mid-level layers of the atmosphere, so the rain just evaporated up before it could reach the ground. So only 200 of an inch in Sioux City, and I don't think we've seen much more than that around the area. This is the last batch of it. It is pushing east. Uh, there are wet streets in Sioux City, and rain is coming down in Storm Lake as well. And uh, again, this is the last of it. So within the next hour, we should all be dry, uh, especially for those, uh, even for those east. There's that rain coming down in wet streets in Storm Lake, and the same thing in downtown Sioux City on the Port New Aldi Company Skycam HD. The soggy looking view coming at you from the Ho Chunk Center. We got up to 50 degrees today, even with the clouds, even with the rain, much above normal. Even this morning's low temperature uh, was normal than our daytime high temperature. So we're staying on that warm side of things, and we will the rest of the week. 39 degrees right now in Sioux City. With the clouds lingering and some uh, misting out there as we get the rest of the rain to push through. Some cooler 30s up north, 38 in Astorville and in Spencer. Uh, 40 still in Tacoma and in Omaha, so very mild for this time of night. Winds are out of the north about 10 to 15 miles per hour. They'll start to kick within the next hour or two. We'll start to see the winds start to kick to 10 to 20 miles per hour and get those gusts up to 30. And we'll keep those gusts for half of the day tomorrow. So there's that rain pushing through. Again, some of the heavier pockets or up north of Sioux City. If you have any rainfall totals, please send them to me. I would love to see them. The bulk of this system is staying up north. We're kind of at the end of, end of this cold front. Once the cold front swings through, we'll be done with the rain, and then again, those winds will kick in for tonight. So by 1 a.m., we'll definitely all be dry. We'll just have some clouds left behind. The clouds clear steadily tonight. We'll start the morning with some clear skies. Temperatures stay steady because the winds will kick. Again, we'll sustain winds up to 20 miles per hour and gusts up to 30. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, windy for the first half of the day, and then warm to end the day with less wind. And we'll spend much of the week warm. Check this out. Mid to upper 40s, near 50 degrees through Thursday, and then 60 on Friday, 58 on Saturday, and normal is at 34 degrees. So very warm for this time of year. And with all of these warm temperatures, we'll have sunshine. So if you're not a fan of winter, spring is definitely coming early for us next week. If you're taking your sweetheart out for a Valentine's Day weekend. Again, you'll have a couple of those showers for the next hour if you're headed out soon. And then gusty winds for brunch tomorrow with sunshine. And then a very nice night if you're going to take her out to dinner. There's that front on Stormcast HD. You can see just a little bit of that rain left for areas east. Once we get towards midnight, all of us will be dry. Breezy winds kick in after that. They'll greet us for the morning hours as the high pressure kind of gets close to the cold front. That's why we'll see those winds in between. So once this cold front pushes eastward and the high pressure takes control, that's when we'll see the winds take it down a notch by the second half of tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine. High pressure keeps us sunny and keeps the winds calmer for Monday and Tuesday. And Wednesday, we'll have beautiful sunny skies and some warmer temperatures through the rest of the week. Again, the winds forecasts are, uh, you know, around 10 o'clock. We're doing okay. The winds will start to kick as we get closer to midnight, 10 to 20 miles per hour sustained. We'll stay with those gusty sustained winds through the morning hours. And then uh, by tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to lose some of that winds later in the day, 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow night. So 32 degrees tonight. We'll uh, keep that rain until midnight, and then we'll lose it, kick in the winds, gusts. 30 miles per hour. 46 tomorrow, gusty early, and then we'll be sunny with those uh, temperatures staying warm. 46 degrees tomorrow. Very pleasant. 48 on Valentine's Day with sunshine. And then this could arguably be the best seven day in February Siouxland has ever seen. Not one rain chance, not one snow chance, all above normal temperatures. I mean, sunshine. 60 on Friday. That's just. Beautiful. Beautiful. We could be yes. buried in snow this time of year. It, so. Last year we were. We were this right? time last year, yeah. So. <laughs> well, there's a little bit of showers tonight, mm -hmm. and so one of the places that we're about to tell you about, Elisa, actually says she likes it because they learn yeah. about water. Yes. And